Hi guys, this is Dr. Nida with Keys of Health. I'm sure you have been hearing about the new COVID-19 strain. The UK has sounded the alarm for this new strain that is 70% more transmissible than other existing variants. But is it really unusual and out of ordinary? Not really. Viruses mutate regularly and scientists have found thousands of different mutations of the coronavirus that causes COVID-19. But so far, what we know is that many of these changes have no effect on how easily the virus spreads or how severe symptoms are. The strain UK and the rest of the world is concerned about has undergone 17 mutations. The report said that two particular muta uh, mutations have been growing in frequency since the previous month and are responsible for the increasing cases in the UK. The UK's health secretary has warned that this new strain is out of control. It is spreading 70% faster than the old strain. However, no one is sure yet of the side effects and severity of this new strain. It will take some time to find this out. Now, what does it all mean for us average people? How do we protect ourselves and prepare our bodies for this rapidly changing virus? First of all, don't panic. All coronaviruses mutate. People get flu shots annually. Flu shots are not administered once in a lifetime or at a certain age like other vaccines. It won't be surprising if this is the case with this coronavirus that causes COVID-19. Second, this virus affects people differently and that effect is very much dependent on your health, um, your health condition and your immune system. So while it makes perfect sense to protect ourselves and our families from unnecessary exposure by staying in safer zones and smaller bubbles for a while longer, this is not where it should end. We should be focused on making our immune system stronger. If your immune system is strong, even if you catch the virus, you will have mild symptoms and your body will fight it off, like any other illness. Things become problematic when immune system is weak and the virus takes over. There are a few things you can do that will help protect you from the virus, and even if you catch it, these simple things will help you overcome it in no time. Now, this has helped hundreds of thousands of people, and I'm confident it will work for you. First of all, maintain social distance. It is just a smart choice to make at a time like now. Stay home when you don't need to go out. Second, when you go out, wear a mask. As soon as you return, make sure you put your clothes in the wash and take a shower. And as an extra precaution, gargle with salt water. I have done a video on this topic where I've shared multiple studies with you on how simple salt water gargling can really, really protect you from viral infections like this one. I will tag it here. Once the virus enters the body, it can injure the lining of the breathing passageways and the body responds with an inflammation, which in turn irritates the nerves in the lining. That is when an infected person coughs. A simple and effective way to keep the breathing passage clear and prevent it from constricting is steam inhalation. It is great if you do it once a day as a preventive measure. Add a tablespoon of Himalayan salt to the water and take deep breaths for three to four minutes at a time. You can add um, essential oils like eucalyptus, peppermint, or spearmint oils for additional benefits. On top of that, you want to take vitamin C, 1000 mg once a day. If you have been exposed to the virus or are, you're taking care of an infected individual, take 1000 mg of vitamin C twice a day. I prefer liposomal vitamin C because it absorbs much more effectively and quickly in the body. But if you can't find that, whatever form is available to you, it's fine. On top of that, you want to take vitamin D3, 5,000 international unit, once daily. And zinc. I would recommend taking zinc picolinate, 15 to 30 mg, once a day. I usually recommend eating zinc-rich foods instead, and that's what you should be doing anyway to protect your body. But at a time like now, it's a good idea to take supplements as well. Remember, these are preventive measures and dosages. If you get an infection, you will need different dosages. I have done a separate video on it that I will link here, so check that out. Uh, it has helped many, many people, and I'm sure you will find it very helpful. On top of these supplements, take carob molasses since it is great for immunity and is very good for lungs, and we need to be taking special care of our lungs at a time like now.
You also want to take honey, especially Manuka honey. It has amazing antimicrobial properties. It kills germs much more effectively than other honeys. Please do some research to make sure you get the best quality honey. It is pricier than other kinds of honey, but think of it as an investment in your health. If you can't find Manuka honey, get raw organic honey. Do not get pasteurized honey no matter what. Add one teaspoon of Manuka honey to warm water. Take small sips and let it sit in your mouth for a few seconds at a time before you swallow it. It's almost like you're warming your throat and massaging it with honey water. On top of that, I would highly recommend sitting in the sun for 15 to 20 minutes whenever possible. Rest and sleep for at least seven to eight hours a day. Drink up to two liters of water per day. I know it may be difficult due to winter. We are usually not thirsty when it's cold, but consciously drink more water to keep your lungs well hydrated. And make sure to eat and drink only hot stuff. Avoid all things cold. Overall, take it easy, eat well, drink well, stay indoors as much as possible and strengthen your immune system. If you get ill, don't panic. Visit the doctor right away. There is a good chance you will fight the virus if you're a healthy individual. If you develop breathing problems, call your doctor or hospital and let them know you're displaying COVID symptoms um, or uh, breathing problems and let them uh, tell you what to do. Most people have recovered fully with very mild symptoms. Be mindful of elderly, pregnant women and those with chronic conditions as they are among the most vulnerable group. Let's hope for the best but still prepare for the worst. We are all in this together and we will come out of it stronger, more considerate and understanding of our vulnerabilities and our need for each other. Hopefully, this affliction will lead to more respectful and empathetic communities in the future. I wish you all well. Please stay safe and stay indoors. I will see you shortly with another video. Don't forget to like and share the video and please subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon so you will be notified when the next video is available. And don't hesitate to get in touch with me if you have any questions or concerns. Take care. Goodbye.